It's been a long time since I've updated y'all on the Turbo 2 door. The motor sounds really good, like as far as like no weird noises, ticks or knocks, like the motor sounds healthy. Um, oil pressure seems good, just for the fact that the oil uh, light isn't coming on. come on if it has low oil pressure you know that's not an issue but I do want to put a gauge to actually know exactly what's going on with the oil pressure um, but today what I'm gonna do is just drive around I've been working on, on a base map out of boost all I have is the oil going uh, through the turbo right now with no charge piping is hooked up whatsoever so I'm gonna go out and drive it and uh, work on the base map and actually get on it get that AFR looking good right there at wide open throttle out of boost um, I'll show you what that is on the map and I basically just want to have that point set for whenever I'm ready to transition into boost. So today's just going to be kind of uh, driving around and building the base map with no fenders and no bumpers. So I'll probably get some funny looks, but let's go. Okay, I feel like I've built like a pretty decent uh, part throttle base map. I just haven't really gotten on it, you know, wide open throttle and try to dial in the uh, AFR that way. So today's goal is just going to be trying to get the AFR at a consistent 13.0 uh, throughout the RPM range, wide open throttle. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna be focused on today. First of all, let me go here in the settings. And sometimes I like to, you can select the gear in which it'll data log in. And if you select, if you check off everything, it'll start da data logging right away. Even while you're just idling. Yeah, even while you're just idling, it'll start data logging like right off the bat. Um, but it'll get kind of iffy like uh, in neutral or first gear it can kind of be so fast it's not very accurate so it might be better to uh no no somebody thought i was chris in this case i'm just gonna floor it so it should be somewhere in these cells from whatever rpm i, I go wide open throttle and it should go all the way through depending on how high I take the road, probably just like five grand. I'm not going to take it to red line. I could kind of fill in the blanks from that point. But let's go ahead and get going and see what kind of AFRs I get off the bat. I'm going to do a low RPM second gear pull and start populating some cells. I put over let's see what we're working with here I noticed that right when I gassed it it kind of went lean but I don't think that's an accurate reading right there sometimes it can be a little little finicky uh, yeah it was about I don't know 2000 rpm when I really got on it so it kind of spiked lean and then kind of corrected itself but 2.4 yeah it started off a little lean and then it got a little too rich I did see this. I was watching my AFR gauge. I did notice it was like right at 13 at around 3,500. So it's going to be as easy as just, well, first I got to, I forgot. And every once in a while you'll get like these little blips like this, but they're not always accurate. Just make sure that on your 2D and 3D graph, everything looks smooth and consistent. And if it does, then you know that these aren't right. Um, cause it'll show lean one second and then you delete it and go through it again and the next time it'll be fine. But yeah, it's a little all over the place still. I need to fine tune it. Um, this is all part throttle stuff. But anyways, right here where I got on it, I need to add some fuel up to about here. And then actually from here on up, I need to take away some fuel. So let me go ahead and make those corrections and let's make another pull. I'm just trying to see how close I can get to maintaining the 13 O throughout the uh, rev range. Same thing, when I got on it, it kind of went lean real fast and then it corrected itself. I don't believe what that says, I just think it can't react that fast. Um, but still, I'm still a little lean in the lower PMs and then up top it uh, starts to get rich. So I think I need to up the percentages just a tad. Let me make some touches, make another pull. Let's just see how close I can get to that 13 all the way through. 
I'm sure I've talked about this before, but just in case this is somebody's first time, um, here's here's what I'm doing. I set the target AFR here, you know, throughout the RPMs. This is your vacuum and this is your boost from this point on. You set your target where you want the AFR to be, and then here you actually data log the actual AFR, and then when you click the cell and adjust, it'll automatically tell you the percentage it recommends to adjust to get to your target AFR. So like I said, uh, my target here is 13 under wide open throttle, just under boost. All this 4th and 7, that's just like part throttle cruising stuff. And as you get this way, it's 13, 12, and like, I think it's 11.76 off in the boost. You can't see it behind the graph, but it's there. Uh, so let's see how far. Yeah, some, it's getting closer. It is getting closer. I'm just going in here, um, making like, you know, 1%, 2% changes. I don't know how to feel about all this because if you look in the graph here, it's nice and consistent. There shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that far off. I think it's just because when I when I hit it, when I go full throttle real quick, it'll kind of just spike lean. Uh, maybe if I ease into it, it'll be, it'll be more accurate. But I just I don't believe that right there. I'm gonna go from here on up where it makes more sense. You know, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna add a little bit of fuel there. Two percent won't hurt. Like I said, I don't believe it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, let's go at it again. This might take two or three times to really get that 13 0 nail, nail down. That's pretty much um, good for one day, I guess. Uh, this is where I ended up. This is my wide open throttle cells right here. And like I said, I was aiming for a 13.0. And it's pretty consistent. A 13.0, that's like from uh, 2200 20, RPMs all the way. I took it up to like 6500. Like you even carry through. It went into VTEC and even went into these cells. 13.0, 13.24. Um, yeah, 6,500 RPM is what I went up to. So I'm pretty happy. It's pretty close. It still needs a lot of tweaking, a lot of fine tuning. Trust these. I just need to keep driving it. And like when it gets down to it, I'm only making like one or 2% changes. Just it's that close that, it, you know, I just one or 2% is all it needs. Um, so yeah, I'm just, it's really close to being ready for boost. Pretty much all I really need to boost at this point is a two and a half inch, uh, 90 degree pipe. A 90 degree coupler maybe some new clamps uh, i need to run the boost reference from the turbo charge outlet to the wastegate that signal reference i need to hook that up um that, that's probably it after that it's ready for boost i still have the weak uh, wastegate spring in there i think it's like eight nine psi but this time around i'm starting off with the stock map sensor so the stock map sen sensor won't read above 11 psi i'm also going to set a boost cut the first time i did this it did not have a boost cut it went to like 30 psi because the china wastegate got stuck the spring was seasoned there it didn't allow it to vent off the pressure and it over boosted tremendously to put it lightly and uh that was i think that was a part of the reason why the motor gave out all right now that i got most of the part throttle stuff situated i went ahead and hooked up the intercooler piping my last little piece of pipe came in the mail today went ahead and hooked that up got the wastegate plumbed basically it's ready to go out and boost now so um it's kind of tedious showing the process of actually getting it dialed in so i'm going to get it pretty close and then start to show you uh what she's doing Guys, I've been making like hit after hit. And this whole setup seems to be holding together well. My coolant temps are staying nice and low, like in 180s, 182, 184. Even when I'm driving the shit out of it, it's still keeping cool. Um, I've just been slowly trying to dial in the AFR. And I feel confident enough to actually make a hit and catch it on the camera now because it's pretty far off from the get-go. But let me show you what she's doing. And how she feels. So even after driving it like shit, I just I'm really happy my coolant temps are staying in check because I've had 
issues with that with like you know head gaskets leaking this and that the coolant leaks I'm just happy to see that my coolants in check um, as you can see down here it was it got a little lean in this little section here that's uh, slowly trying to get it on the green right here that's good all that green is good I think that's about 11.76 target AFR let me just go ahead and whenever I see that I just go ahead and add a percentage to the entire column yeah, sure, six percent, whatever. Um, yeah, let me make another pass. Let me get a wider angle this time. Just, I hope you like this quick little update and kind of getting this car ready to boost. It's really close. I'm really excited. Maybe I'm going to say in a week this car will be boosting. So hope to see you then.